brothers! Today we are in a special, super exclusive contemporary masterpiece, an exclusive listing by Soul Villa. So hey guys, thank you so much for once again allowing us to tour your listing. Carport, at least two, three cars can fit here. And that's so important in a mansion for 8,750,000 euros with eight bedrooms, 1,417 square meters, a build area, and a lot of other cool facts. But before I spoil it, let's begin, come on. Everything in this house is immensely big. Let's just put focus on the stone cladding here. That really disrupts the clean lines of this contemporary, timeless masterpiece. Let's check it out inside, come on. enjoyed the detail shots of this beautiful home. If you are already interested by just looking at the drone shots to get in contact with the lister, the detail description box below is where you'll find a link to their webpage. This is your rectangular living room area. And of course, everything is facing to the south. Behind this divisional wall, you have the informal living room area. Further along from this living room area, we also have the kitchen dining area, and it's one of my favorites, but I really want you to understand the sizes that we are dealing with in this home. Everything is monstrous, everything's big, but yet super manageable. Now we have the dining area here with the wooden paneling up on the ceiling. Do you get that well on the camera, dude? Yes, I do. Super. And they correspond so well with the wooden paneling on the shelves and cupboards up front. Now we also have a omnidirectional kitchen island from an Italian company called Barazza. And what I like about it, it's omnidirectional with a divisional wall in the middle. Sockets. So whenever you want to make a smoothie in the morning, you can plug it in here. But hey, before you zoom out, what the actual is this. You'd think it comes from space. It looks like a mistake. <laughs> Guys, all the facade here is cupboards, fridges, and of course your appliances. Every appliance here in the kitchens from Gaggenau, which is premium high-end class appliances, fridge, everything you need. And this is just setting an example of what I mean with the stainless steel disrupting the warmth of the wood, giving an industrial feel to it all. And of course the substruction vent hidden seamlessly, that's a difficult word, inside of the stove here. LED strips, and as Patrick mentioned before, a spaceship. There's also a sound system installed in the entire house, in the ceiling, a lot of picture windows, not only displaying the architecture outside, but bringing natural light in. And yeah, this level is huge, and we still have two bedrooms to show you guys on this level, in that section. Let's have a look. Before we go there, yeah, did you, you're looking at the staircase now, aren't you, Patrick? Yes, I really like how the wood grows with the cupboards behind you. All the cupboards that is in the same wood as the staircase. You have an elevator going to first floor and ground floor, which has an amazing amenities. So we're gonna come to it at a later stage. But from here, separate in individual, on the right wing of the house, we have two bedrooms that I would like to show you guys. So Patrick, zoom in. Guys, what I would love to point out, you have so much visibility outwards, the windows also pocket in, and I'm gonna be showing that 
just here. Now you saw that it flows one bedroom to another, but you also have a divisional door here that pockets in for more privacy. And this is amazing because when you open this, technical double glazed windows, this pockets all the way into the far end. For a better understanding of the layout, just where my brother is standing and here, we can also go to the living room, here. Now, I hope you understand the layout. I've also put in the floor plans at the end of the video for anyone who needs floor plans. And if you are interested in inquiring this home, the exclusive lister is in the description box. Well, he's not physically there, but the link is. Let's continue. We're back in the corridor. This is the main door where we came in from. Here we have the cupboards I mentioned. Now, this is, in my opinion, the jewel of the house because we have some insanely captivating ceiling height here with picture windows going from floor to ceiling and at least 10 to 15 meters of height. And we're gonna be going up there, but there's also a staircase going down and downstairs in the basement, we have some really cool amenities like a gym, a spa, an amazing cinema room. And yeah, much more. So guys, stay tuned. A huge garage. And a humongous garage, exactly. So stay tuned till a bit later. Let's continue. Ooh, LED strips. Nicely placed under the wooden panels as well. Now on this level we have four bedrooms, three bedrooms on the right wing and the master on the left wing. But before we continue, this is some uh, artistic foot piece. The owner probably knows that I walk barefoot through houses, so this was put there for me. <laughs> Do you think it was? No. But let's do, go. Do you want to point out that this entire facade here with the wooden paneling is from the entrance door going all the way up. So we have immense ceiling height in the entire house and in the basement, which is quite shocking. And now bedroom one, two and three. Let's start with this one. Now this bedroom has everything you need. Plentiful of space. The windows that go from left to right visibility outwards to the panoramic scenery that you have and of course a double height ceiling. Now not to forget we also have a bathroom ensuite in every bedroom that is also clean and minimalistic like the rest of the house, cupboard spaces and much more. Let's go. Of course bedroom number two but before we go in there another massive picture window bringing natural light in. You know I love to point it out because it's essential in the coast to have so much light in your life. Bedroom number two, let's go. Now bedroom number two is in my opinion completely mirrored to bedroom number one that we have seen. I'm just gonna walk to the end of the room for you to get an understanding of the sizes and dimensions. This is probably a 180 by 180 bed. Might be even bigger, what do you think Patrick? It's quite small. 180 by 180? Yeah. It's the bed I sleep in and I'm comfortable in yeah, it. My, I have two too. Patrick has two too. I it's, sleep by myself. Patrick's bed is massive. <laughs> now, the same bathroom as in the one before with a here, rainforest shower, nice stone tiling plastered on the wall, and of course, a one sink vanity, clean, neat, and everything you need. Bedroom number three, shall we? Let's go. Let's go. This is the smallest room in the entire house, so I would say it's for the bad child, the child that's naughty. Just kidding, it's still a very luxurious bedroom. Got the same ceiling height as everywhere else. And as you can see, continuous in style and design. Covered spaces, which we haven't shown and opened in other bedrooms, we can do now just for you to understand. Cupboards, LED lights, they switch on automatically. And it also has a bathroom. Who would have thought, right? That are smaller than the other ones, huh? Yes, yeah. but still good in size. Yeah, totally. It's got everything you need here. Now, going to the master bedroom, I would like to point out that we need your guys' help and support. So thumbs up if you're enjoying today's property tour and of course, give us your support and any questions you have, ask them. Now, this is a pocketing door that closes the master suite, the right wing of the house completely down. And of course, once you open it, you immediately get this view outwards and from every window you see greenery and you see sometimes a few houses scattered across it, which is nice because it's not a cluttered together urban area. 
bedroom, shall we? Let's go. Go. This is the biggest room on this level. It's the master suite with its own chimney and fireplace, of course. What I really like, by the way, which sets the tone of the room is the bed framing put behind. It just really gives a shape and understanding to the room. Very close. I really like the fireplace. It's still my favorite Ding. item of the room. Well, people, people, followers. Humans. Humans, intergalactical people. Uh, our subscribers know that we love fireplaces and we always call them chimneys. So if you don't know yet, subscribe and you will understand and how we work. By the way, this closes completely and opens up completely so that when you lie in your bed, you get to look at the mountain view that you have also seen in the drone shots and that's pure luxury. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the corridor leads all the way to the third bedroom that we have seen, the smallest one, all the way up to this place here. And architecturally, uh, <laughs> architecturally speaking, the overhang here is really interesting. And the big like, window mirror that you see here and Patrick walking around, that's the master bedroom's bathroom. And it is probably one of the biggest ones we have seen. But good that you're gonna turn the camera around because we have La Concha there our favorite mountain, creating microclimate here. It's a little bit gazy today though. Gazy. How do you say? I don't know. Gazy? It's a, a gaze, no? Gaze? Yeah, when it's a little too humid, like, like right now, it's not really sharp, it's too humid, because it's very hazy. hot today. Gazy. Hey, hazy. Hazy. Oh my God. <laughs> hazy. It's hazy, Sorry, guys. guys, it's not gazy. Hazy. hazy. <laughs> it's true, it's hazy, and it's also like 30, six degrees so we have limited time that we're going to be spending outside therefore we're going to go back inside because it is boiling hot in marbella but you learn to love it and now before we move further this is the walk-in closet guys with patrick in the end reflecting he's the cameraman guys for those who is new patrick's my brother we are the mar brothers now suede has also been put out on the entire walling here, which is so nice to the touch. And of course, LED strips and Ferdinand and Warden panels have been installed. Great size. This can also be closed down with a pocketing door in case of need. We're gonna keep that in because it is how it is. Now guys, this is a humongous master bathroom. And what I mean with humongous is, if you tilt the camera a little bit, Patrick, you can't tilt it. Go you further away because to. do you get the ceiling height here? Of it's course. probably the highest ceiling height we have in the entire house and it's here in the bathroom. Two sink vanity. Nice how they went for a continuation of the same materials plastered here as on the floor. And yeah, wait. Here you'll see it better with the stoning that I meant. And of course you also have shower heads that drop at least a meter and a half before they hit you. And that's quite exclusive. Furthermore, bathtub, stunning views outwards. And yeah, this where my brother is standing now and where I'm coming towards is a nice little add-on when it comes to using empty spaces. And what you can see, they've really landscaped this. And this is the roof of the two bedrooms we have seen at the beginning. Perfect. Now a bathtub with a view, Patrick. What do you think? Yes, it Pretty is. Pretty epic, right? Absolute privacy as well, because the houses are so far, they can't really look in. And now we continue? Let's, Let's go. go. I want to mention this real quick. Here we have a bathroom. And just film this. Because... Oh, there you are. Because if you sit on the toilet, and you're doing your business, you'd be in the biggest toilet, ceiling height-wise, that you've ever been in. And you also have black mirrored, so it reflects, but you cannot look in. Just and the picture window again, behind. Picture windows are everywhere, it's amazing. And now, should we show this little part as well? Because we thought this was interesting. This is a shaft for your laundry. 
that goes all the way down to yet another really big room, which is the laundry room. Seems very smart. Super smart. And I'm actually surprised that it's in so little homes, right? We've, yeah. We barely see this in any other home. That means the owner actually, this is fun fact, built this house to the highest standards, wanting to live here. Therefore, the qualities are superb and the way it's been created to be manageable in size and in design, etc., is fantastic. And a domotic system where from you can control everything. And now guys, I shall see you in the basement. Ciao. Basement. Basement is huge. Basement is the coolest room in the entire house. I mean cool as in it's cool and because it is cool. Do you get what I mean? Two-tone staircase leading up. Fancy little cushions to come and kick back when you get too tired running down or to simply observe the nice way this house has been built and created with the staircase being visible from here and the straight lines of the architecture. Now, this is the entire corridor with your wide display and I cannot be missing in any house. Let me just go inside here so you understand what I mean. You put on the best wines that you have at display here and if you want to pick a bottle and try it with your friends you can do that because you also have a little kickback area right over here where you come and sit down, you choose which one, you taste the wine before you head upstairs and serve it to your guests. Or like Patrick said, what did you say you will do here? This, I would make this my protein bar. You Why? Know, have protein drinks right over there. So after the drum roll workout, you can have a protein shake. What do you think of the gym as a gym fanatic, Patrick? It's a good start. It's a good start. What does that mean in technical terms? Uh, you have enough dumbbells. Dumbbells are great. For me, they would probably have to start a little bit uh, heavier. They should start at 28 and they end at 28. I like 20s. Hmm. I'll probably go from 20 upwards. Obviously, you know, you need lightweight to warm up, but... Yeah. But in general... It's so heavy. Yeah. But I think in general, this is a really solid gym. You've got your English patio as well with more natural light coming in. You have your running machine for fitness and with a bench press, there's a lot of workouts you can do, huh? There's one good saying. For a good workout, you need two things. A rock and a hill. Wow. Oh yeah. All right, a rock and a hill. Now, after you finish your cardio or your bench press, you have this beauty to enjoy. Shower, toilet, in case you need to rush to the loop or shower, but this is the heart of the gym spa area and it's a beautiful, beautiful hammam laid out tile by tile and it's big. Usually in homes, when they call it luxury homes, you have a hammam which is like a quarter of this size. So going for such a spacious room to fill it in for a hammam is actually superb and I'm very happy they did that. Now you just need a lot of friends to come and fill this place to really have a good time, right? But, but here starts the big debate of the Mauro brothers. Tell me. Hammam or sauna? We had that already. I yeah, said I hammam. I said sauna. What do you guys say? I Comment like, below. I like saunas. Nice and dry and I like immense the humidity. heat. See? Immense heat. That's where we differ. Now, <laughs> this is amazing. It's made out of pure gold. Joke. It's another candle holder. I think the owner loves candle holder, holders, holders. candle holders because there are quite a few of them around. Now, Patrick, the best room of the house. Let's check it out. In the huh? far end. This is the heart of the house and it's the cinema room. It's awesome. And I think, Patrick, I'm gonna put myself under the spotlight, turn a camera around and get a good understanding of what I mean with a big, big TV room. Change your position, come on. Hey, that's much better. Wow, guys, do you see the dimensions? How far away are you from me, Patrick, would you say? Mm, 10 meters. 10 meters. And it's 10 meters by one, two, three, four, five, five and six, 60 square meters of a private cinema room. And now for those who are organoleptic, 
like myself. Can I go there? Is it too shady? Yes, it is too shady. People who are organoleptic, meaning they love touching things, this would be heaven on earth because this is suede. The couch is suede and you have a super duper comfortable carpet as well. So everything is suede in and you can play around because they also change the coloring depending on what direction you, you know? It's just so soft. I love it. <laughs> All right, now we go to Patrick's favorite room. But before we do, we have another room here, which is enormous in size because when you have eight bedrooms, which this house has, I don't know if I told you that yet. It's got eight bedrooms. We have seen two on the main floor, four upstairs, and we have two in the basement. You'll be housing a lot of people. I would say 16 if there are two people in each bedroom. So you need rooms like this. Let's have a look to put a ping pong table in or make it into a storage room or whatever the heart desires. Additional space like this is always a bliss in big homes like this. And that all rhymed, did oh, you hear that? Yes, I did. Wow, I'm pretty proud. And now to Patrick's most favorite room. Let's go. The machinery room. Elaborate a little bit, Patrick. What do you think, quality wise? First impression. What are we talking about here? Very neat. Well organized. I like the blue tubing, not the traditional black. Yeah. I know. This is sweet. Do you have underflow uh, heating system, obviously water reservoir, boilers. You also very cleverly, and I love that, the pool pump is also here. So it doesn't make the noise by the pool, but it's discreetly hidden in the machine room where it basically should be or where it belongs, right there. And this is also a reduction of the pH. And fun fact about the swimming pool, whilst we're already talking about swimming pool, it has a UV cleaning system. So with UV light, it kills the bacteria. Yeah, right Fantastic. there. Fantastic, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. HR UVC. Super clever, because I always have to clean the pool, put a lot of chlorine in, kill the algae, and then do manual work. This does it by itself. Let's continue. And now to the further two bedrooms that we have in the basement with bedroom number one in the basement right here. Patrick, turn the camera and let's get started. Hey, here I am again, guys. Two doors, one on the right, one on the left. Do you wanna know what they lead to? Have a guess. Correct, the garage. So guys, how elegant is this garage? Now we have seen a lot of homes, we have toured a lot of properties on our channel, and I would say this is by far the cleanest and neatest garage that we have seen, wouldn't you agree? Till now, yes. Yeah. What's missing, guys, is a Ferrari here, maybe a Lamborghini. Now, here we have a completely independent guest apartment or a staff compartment. Let's have a look. <laughs> a lot of covered spaces, your own kitchen, also with Gaggenau appliances, really cool. Sink, dining area, and your living room, bedroom area right up front. And just as a reminder, embroidered into the yeah, towels, etc. Villa Siena, everywhere. Just a fine little detailing. And here we can also see the technical windows, double glazed, floor to floor, ceiling to ceiling. Beautiful. Bathroom, really quickly. You want to show the bathroom? Let's have a look because it's the same quality throughout. So even for the staff, they didn't share a penny less to make it consolidated in design, style, and etc. I mean, staff, or you have a very annoying teenager at home. Wow, oh, this is luxury for an annoying teenager. Let's have a look at this room. Come on. This is another enormous room, currently used as a billiard table room or as an office. But when it comes to space, there's so much you can still do in the basement because you have all the square meters possible to do it. And this room, for instance, I would make this into like a disco bar because I think the time has come where people like to 
you know, do parties at home with close friends. How cool would this be if you'd have your DJ pulled here? Fat ass sound system. And they can party. all park right there. Yeah, go outside and park. Super. Wow. Right, let's continue. Because there's one more room to show you in this basement. And that is the laundry room. When I lived in Germany, there wasn't such a thing as a laundry room. Who would have thought, right? Laundry room is something for the rich and for the luxurious. And here is one. Let's go. When I say luxurious, it's because look how much space we have. This is just a laundry room. This is another, I don't know, 35 square meters of space. A lot of cupboards, super cleverly done. Like I said, it's been built to live in effortlessly. A lot of cupboards, washing machines, and <laughs> washing machines. It's a washing machine? Yes. I thought oh, there's a dishwasher. Yes, washing machines. And dryer. Dryer, sink, countertop, and in this cupboard here, the dirty laundry comes from the first floor, as we have seen in the pipe. And now, let's go outside. So guys, let's check this out now, the outdoor area. Now what you realize, and I hope you do guys, you can open this entire window facade. All the space before, which was closed, is now open. And I love this fusion between indoor and outdoor, as you guys probably know. Now this is the swimming pool that I spoke about before, which is super inviting to jump in. And maybe I should backflip from there, should I, Patrick? Into the pool? I would. For a Maragang, I would. You have a completely covered area here with your barbecue center console right up front. This is your outdoor kitchen area. And of course, this entire section opens up as well. You want less sun and enjoy your pit here to come and, I don't know, drink with your friends, laughter, play some cards. You can also do that. And I think this is so cool, uh, Patrick. Yes, it is indeed. Have you seen something like this before? Um, yeah, but obviously it always differs. And this one is in particular very nice and useful in summer. Totally. You have the parasols. By the parasols, you have your sun beds that we're gonna be looking at right now. Now guys, if you are interested in seeing this home and you like its style, the contact details of Sovilla, who are the exclusive listers, is in the description box and you might have seen a few pop-up banners as well, linking them directly to their webpage. Now it's been a massive pleasure for us, the Maro brothers, to film yet another property tour for you guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give us a thumbs up and of course subscribe for more content like this. And now I'd say it's 36 degrees. We're gonna head down to the beach, enjoy some, I don't know, I'd say maybe some cold beer, a couple of fries, maybe some fish on El Espata, by the fire, jump into the ocean, and just call it a day. Guys, all the best. Peace. Patrick, you wanna say something? <laughs> it's so hot.